faculty, family, and friends, good evening and welcome to the graduation ceremony of the Herbert Henry Dow High School class of 2019. We are the 49th class to graduate. My name is Chloe Welch and it is truly a privilege to welcome all of you on this evening of celebration. Joining us on stage this evening is Midland Public Schools Superintendent Michael Shero from the school board, President Pam Singer, Treasurer Mary Friedel, and trustees John Lauterbach and Brad Blazy, Dow High Assistant Principals Ms. Jennifer Compens and Mr. Matt Murphy, our guest speaker, Mr. Thomas McNamara, our student speakers, Andre Buckley Jr. and Davis Bertel, and lastly, our commencement committee for the class of 2019, Nicholas Bloom, Emilio Cuellar, Sophia Khan, Paige Messick, Adeline McCarty, and myself. At this time, we ask you to please turn off or silence your electronic devices. The ceremony would not be possible if it wasn't for the men and women who have fought for and continue to fight for the freedoms of this country. So at this time, we ask you to please rise, remove your caps, and turn your attention to the flag as we join the Dow High School Chamber Singers and the Dow High Orchestra in proudly singing our national anthem. Student speaker is the musically talented Davis Bertel. Davis has made an impact on Dow High through being involved in symphony orchestra, jazz band, and being a section leader in the marching band. Outside of the music room, he is a part of varsity swim and NHS. Davis has strived to be the best student, friend, and charger. So without further ado, it is with great honor to introduce my classmate and fellow peer, Davis Bertel. From the first week, a freshman year, all the way to standing on this stage, delivering this speech, I routinely asked myself one question. Why am I here, I said, wondering how Ernest Hemingway and the old man in the sea were a productive use of my time all the way back in the freshman year. Why am I here, I pondered, feverishly trying to recall the difference between a covalent and ionic bond in Chem sophomore year. Poor K is Stoya Key, I speculated, pretending to know how to speak Spanish in Spanish too. 
But after all that pondering, wondering why am I here, it's still, it's clear I still don't have the answer to that question. Because I'm sure Sunir Meyer would be upset with me if I said that I don't really remember much Spanish, or that Miss G would be disappointed that I still don't know which countries were in the Axis powers. At first glance, it doesn't seem like I was using my presence in the school wisely. And as I'm finishing this speech, literally 24 hours before commencement, I can't help but think about how often I've put myself in this situation. The principled IB learner trait might want you to do homework, but the knowledgeable learner trait knows that Twitter fights are just more interesting. Whatever your case may be, my reflective trait tells me that no matter the situation, you only remember the result of your lack of preparedness. You only remember getting a 54% on your proof test in geometry, but forgot about all the hours you spent not studying for it. You remember the nervousness before taking your first, or in my case, second driving test, but not the feeling of success when you held that license in your hands for the first time. What does this mean, though? Why did we put ourselves through this? Whatever we got out of high school wasn't necessarily algebra or chemistry or Spanish. All we did was stick those AirPods that we got for Christmas back in our ears and move on to other things. We only remember the end. If that's all we did, then why are we here? Allow me to tell you a personal anecdote. After a particularly difficult college rejection, I did what any young person would do, and I complained to the internet about it. Lots of people commented, saying nice but trivial things like, stay positive, it'll be okay, or everything happens for a reason. But one comment stuck out to me. It went as follows. Even though it's not the news you were hoping for, there are still exciting things ahead of you. You get to create your own path and do whatever you want with it. Although it must hurt, you have an exciting and unexpected story unfolding in front of you. If anything, try to appreciate the thrill of a journey that is entirely your own. After I read that comment, I did what any IB learner would do and reflected. Appreciate the thrill of a journey that is entirely your own. Through that reflection, something dawned on me. While trying to appreciate my miserable situation, I found that why am I here is perhaps the wrong question to ask. Each one of you in front of me has your own goals, dreams, and ambitions. Each one of you has your own path that you'll lead, and as I'm sure you already know, there are hurdles and barriers, and it's your job to circumnavigate them. But I, for one, am scared of that fact. I'm scared of stupid stuff like crime and heart disease and terrorism and taxes or writing a bad speech. But what I fear most is that I won't have the conviction to succeed in a competitive world. I fear that I won't have the courage to become so insignificant. I worry that in this giant world, I simply won't be enough and that I won't matter. I fear that in simply wondering why are we, I will never find out who are we. I'm telling you this because I know several of you share the same anxieties. In all that time wondering about our presence, I wasn't truly appreciating the thrill of my journey. In all that time spent worrying about that pre-calc test you had next hour, I doubt you thought about all the things you had accomplished and all the exciting things you have ahead of you. That's what this moment is about. Today, we put on some silly hats, a set of ugly robes, and drag our families out of the house to appreciate our thrilling journey. Even if you might not think so, our journeys have indeed been a thrill. You should be thrilled about all the things you learned. Maybe not stuff like the quadratic formula or iambic pentameter, but about all the skills you've acquired. By teaching yourself chemistry, you learn how to be independent and do things for yourself. Conversely, by winging every single math test you ever had, you learn how to be adaptable and dynamic. Have confidence in that fact, because you've shown that through these experiences, you're ready to take on a new job in a new place, doing something you haven't done before. 
If that scares you, take solace in all the things you don't know. Be thrilled that you're about to face a new set of struggles, coming up with new solutions, and meeting new people. Don't fear the unknown. Embrace it. Utilize the courage that you started building freshman year when everything was still new and undiscovered. Utilize the courage you had when you finally told someone that you weren't doing just fine. Be thrilled that you're about to be a freshman again, but with more doors open than ever before. With four years of developed confidence and character, you're ready to take yourself wherever you want to go. If you'd rather forget what happened these past four years, this moment acts as a clean sheet, ready for you to do with it however you please. Today is a stepping stone for a brighter future. This moment is what you make of it. We're here not only to mark the end of our high school educations, but to embark on a thrilling journey that is entirely yours. We're here to finally stop wondering, why am I here? And so, staff and parents, graduates, if you get bored while the names of all of us are being listed, do yourself a favor and think about the things you know, the things you don't know, and the things you want to accomplish. Be thrilled that you have the opportunity to dream, that you have been prepared to make a life for yourself once we finally take off these silly hats, these ugly robes, and leave Dow High for the last time. Be thrilled that you're no longer asking yourself, why am I here, but rather, where can I go? Thank you. Our next speaker truly needs no introduction, but I want to give him one anyway. He's touched the lives of so many throughout his 31 years of teaching, of which he spent 23 at Dow High, teaching both Physics 1 and 2. He's accumulated quite the reputation around the school and among the staff as the lead science teacher at Dow and also the Science Olympiad coach. Mr. McNamara graduated originally from Central Michigan University with his graduate school coming from Western Michigan University. All while being one of the most beloved teachers of Dow High, Mr. Mack has a very impressive personal life as well. He is the father to seven beautiful children, as well as a very involved man in the community. Ever since I was one and moved to Midland, Mr. Mack has been a shining role model in my life. I have seen him do it all, from walking his kids around our neighborhood to hosting his middle son's graduation party just last summer. I have known who Mr. McNamara was for almost my whole life, so having him as a teacher for the past two years has meant more than just classwork. It has created a bond beyond the classroom that extends into all aspects of life. With all that said, it is truly my honor to be introducing the physics teacher, role model, and friend. Please give a warm welcome to the Mr. McNamara. Thank you, Nick, for those kind words. Class of 2019, you've come a long way in the four years at Dow High. You've overcome the obstacle course that is high school to the finish line. But you have one more hurdle or lesson. And as a science teacher, the best way to learn a concept is to perform an experiment. We gather the data and then we determine a relationship. So let's run one more lab. Class of 2019 has had tremendous success. So let's see if we can examine the time here and draw some conclusions from it. So let's get out our materials and let's start our experiment. <laughs> hey, I love those new lab coats. That color is awesome. <laughs> I lost my place. Hey, I love those lab coats. They're great. But please, people, no hats in the lab. And that dangly thing is a fire hazard. And it, and it looks like nobody brought goggles. And about half of you are wearing sandals. 
Oh, well, I, I didn't bring enough equipment for all of you anyways. Um, you might ask what kind of equipment you would use in a lab for tonight. Graduated cylinders. <laughs> okay, if we can't gather the data tonight, right, then let's look back at our memories here at Dow High and see if we can gather any conclusions from that. Life is complex confusing and often full of contradictions. When you're faced with a complex situation with multiple variables, in science we try to simplify it. We look at one thing over a limited time frame and hope to shed some light on the bigger picture. So that's what I would like to try tonight. The one variable would be you, right, and the time frame would be here at Dow High. So let's go back and gather the data over your years at DHS. To help visualize this time, let's start with closing our eyes and remembering back. Let's think of a very memorable moment during your four years. The time that you had a shiny moment. Something that you will look back with pride in the coming years. A moment of glory. It could be a victory on an athletic field. It could be a score on a test, a story or a poem you wrote, a group project that wowed the judges. Maybe it was a performance before a large crowd. Or maybe it was listening to an awesome physics lecture. You'll love those. Still others of you, tonight is your moment to shine. Despite the deck being stacked against you, despite everything that life has thrown at you, you didn't quit, and you're here tonight, a graduate. This is your moment for you to shine. These victories you've had lead to a simple fact. We are motivated by success. The taste of victory is one of the sweetest things in life. We all have that drive to succeed. It's built into our DNA. It's not the win at all cost mentality, but simply a desire to improve that drives us. That motivation has propelled the human race throughout its history. It's one of the most important traits of being a human. Now let's revisit this little experiment again. Close your eyes once more, and again, I want you to think of that shining moment. But this time, I want you to rewind time. I want you to look back at all the work it took, the sacrifices, the time, the studying, the practices that went into get to that moment. It wasn't easy, but you were willing to persevere for that moment. Some of you were up before dawn in a less than warm pool swimming lap after lap as Chili or Gary enthusiastically encouraged you to do your best. Meanwhile, your friends were in their warm beds with visions of just one more snow day in their head. Ah, snow days, cold days, ice days. Yet others of you spent your afternoons Right after school, sweating up a storm at practice, running play after play after play to get it right. Or maybe you took a private lesson striving to make first chair. As your friends were home, avoiding homework by playing video games. And still some of you during the hot summer would be at camp trying to improve a certain skill or maybe taking a class to widen your knowledge. And you did this all the while your friends were hanging out at the pool catching some rays. There's one logical point you can make from this. You have some lazy friends. No, seriously, right? The real lesson learned here is that success comes at a price. You have to work hard for your reward. Does your reward or your effort always result in winning the prize? No, not always. 
but no victory comes without sacrifice. Experience will teach you that you have to pay your dues in order to succeed. Plain and simple, do the work. You may have mistakes along the way. Learn from your mistakes and apply them to the future. We as humans have evolved with our eyes in the front of our head to see our future. Your focus should be on what lies ahead of you. If you don't, you won't see your future, you'll run into it. Don't be afraid to try, be ready to learn, and always keep moving forward. The only thing that stands between your past and your future is you. Now for the last time, let's look back at that moment in that experiment and see if something else is contributing to the feeling of success. Close your eyes and look back at that shining moment. But this time, relive that moment without your friends or teammates in attendance. Picture it without your family or any audience at all. No coaches or teachers to share in the event. How does that moment feel now? That shining moment has lost a little luster, hasn't it? It doesn't feel the same. The relationships we have with friends, family, teammates make sacrifices worthwhile. These amazing people have shared in the struggles of your life and not sharing in them leaves the celebration incomplete. All the trophies in the case, all the plaques on the walls, all the accolades in the world will not give you happiness unless you spend as much time building relationships as you do building careers. Think of it this way. Imagine if I were to struggle by myself to climb to the top of a majestic mountaintop with a spectacular view. And at the zenith, I would take a deep breath and enjoy the view. But after about 30 seconds, it's, it's just a view. But now, take that same hike with three of your best friends. The four of you facing the challenges of climbing together, overcoming the challenges along the way to reach the summit. It would no longer be a view, it would be a party. A party with a view. The same event, but not the same experience. We are social beings. It too is wired into our DNA. If one of the strands of the DNA is, to, is our will to succeed, then the other is the need to bond with others. We as humans have the desire to improve and the yearning to help fellow man. These two strands have been woven throughout history and have been masterfully sown into all of us. If you seek a better life, help someone to get there too. To sum up the findings of this experiment, and I think I might need to review here as I lost some of you when I told you to close your eyes, and some of you didn't perk up until I said party. You will be motivated by success but you'll be educated by your experiences. Success comes at a price, and most of the time, it looks a lot like plain old hard work. Your past doesn't determine your future, you do. And build relationships as well as careers. Life is not a race to the top. Some say life is not a sprint, it's a marathon. But a marathon sounds like a lot of running, sweating, and a whole lot of pain, which doesn't sound like life to me. To me, I think of life as an epic road trip. Your life will be filled with amazing things to do and see along the way. You will run across all kinds of wonderful people too. 
you most assuredly will run into detours, dead ends, and things will break down along the way. But your ability to deal with these challenges, to overcome all of these difficulties, will only add to the richness of your story. But the most important element of the trip, or your story, is who you share the ride with. The relationships you make along the way can turn a marathon into a joy ride, or a ride full of joy. Finally, from the faculty and staff at Dow High, we know you, the two, class of 2019, will go off and do wonderful things in the future. Some of you will choose to do so in far off exotic locations, and some of you will do it right down the street. But please remember that you will always be a charger and you will always have a place in our hearts. Best of luck on this experiment we call life. Thank you. all senior choir members may go join the rest of the choir. Please help me welcome the Dow High Choir singing from now on from The Greatest Showman. Oh, 
Our next speaker is someone who takes countless hours out of her busy life to support each and every one of us. From football games to band concerts, you are sure to be seeing her repping green and gold. You can find this person boogieing down at sporting events and shining her bright smile in the hallways. She has made our last two years at Dow the best they could be. From myself and the class and the rest of the 2019 graduating class, thank you. Please help me welcome our amazing assistant principal, Miss Jennifer Coppins. Thank you, Paige. Welcome parents, family, and guests to the commencement of Dow High School. I would like to thank the Board of Education in advance for graduating the 49th class from Dow High School. I would also like to thank Dow Diamond and their team for preparing the facilities for us in this uncertain weather today. I'd like to thank the many Dow High School staff members who helped in various roles and most importantly, the commencement committee who made this program a success. Typically, the presentation of the class includes sharing some outstanding accomplishments of the class of 2019. What you will call their stats or their data. Well, I'm very pleased to announce that collectively, your stats would read like this. You've earned over $13 million in scholarships, won numerous state titles in athletics, competed at international and national levels, earned highest marks in music programs, and been recognized in many other ways, too numerous to mention. These wins, awards, and honors are important, but instead, I'd like to take a few minutes to go beyond them. To, pre to present the other side of why you, the class of 2019, will be remembered. You will be remembered for your caring. You cared enough to say good morning every day, even though you were tired or you were with a group of friends. You stopped to ask, how's your day going? And more importantly, you meant it. You held doors open. You asked if you could help in any way or said, let me do that. You wrote simple thank you cards to express your appreciation. And when I went into classrooms, I saw them posted or tucked in near the teachers so that they remembered you cared. Although these acts may seem modest, they mean so much. Please never stop showing you care. You will be remembered for your compassion your organization of Charger Chefs, donations to Charger Closet, those are just two examples of how your compassion showed through. Your compassion was also seen in many of the clubs, teams, and groups as the seniors stepped up and intended to the underclassmen to ensure unity. You welcome foreign exchange students, special needs students, and new students. Recently, a family was touring the school and commented on the number of students that not only greeted me, but them as well. I urge you to continue to approach situations with compassion in order to bring people together with kindness and understanding. You will be remembered for your class class and cheering positively for Charger teams, listening every time Mrs. Whalen said to cheer louder or step back behind the line, showed class by having respectful conversations even when different points of view emerged. You showed class when the end of your senior year may not have gone as you wanted and you chose to remain respectful about it. Wherever you go from here, Hold yourself accountable to the standards set by the class with class. I have seen these qualities in abundance from the Dow High School class of 2019, and they will serve you well in the future. For it is these things, caring, compassion, and class that build character. And character has a more positive impact on those around you than the data and the definitions, the stats that may dot your resume. So the class of 2019, we wish you well on the next part of your life's journey.
keep building your character, your charger spirit, and know you will always have a home here. Thank you. Ms. Pam Singer is the current president of the Midland Public Schools Board of Education and has served since 2013. In addition, she has been a research associate with the Legacy Center for nine years and counting. Please join me in welcoming her forward to accept the graduation of our class. Thank you, Paige. It is an honor to be here this evening to join in the celebration of the class of 2019. Students, your success is earned from your hard work and your perseverance in fulfilling all of the graduation requirements. On behalf of the Midland Public School Board of Education, it is my pleasure and honor to accept the 49th H.H. Dow High School graduating class, the class of 2019. You guys may rise. Wyatt Adams, Nada Alamad, Emma Allington, Catherine Altes, Sarah Amer, Jordan Anderson. Michael Andrea, Zachary Archibald, Ashley Ahrens, Shane A. Strike, Chad Atchison. Mark Atkins, Rebecca Augustine, Emma Avery, Hannah Baker, Victoria Balch, Amy Berry, Sophie Baus, Valentina Banky, Caleb Belgiorno, Nathan Benchley, Andrew Bins. Easton Block, Nicholas Bloom, Kyle Brennan, Jack Brewster, Willow Brink, Marin Brown. Jocelyn Brubaker, Sydney Bryant, Andre Buckley Jr., Gage Bunker, Chase Kerrigan, Abby Karn. Caitlin Carr, Andrew Karras, Andrew Carter, 
Isabel Chaput. Brendan Chickey. Caden Clarelandhost. Allie Clipper. Tyler Conrad. Zachary Kuhn. Emilio Cuellar. Christina Danielson. Megan Dastic. Gabrielle Dauphiné. Molly Davis. Riley Davis. Carolyn Desmet. Hans Den. Sophie Den. Samuel Dembowski. Samuel Devine. Alexander Dynadum. Cassidy Deal. Sierra Dillon. Emma Donnelly. Meredith Donnelly. Brennan Doyle. Samuel Drake. Eliza Dumboys. Tyler Eaton. Emily Augusti. Adam Alphawal. Kate Ellison. Ethan Ells. Jacob Ember. Austin Enline. Michael Erickson Jr. Lauren Estes. Chelsea Fenton. Zachary Fuchs. Dustin Fields. Alec Finch. Matthew Finch. Logan Fisher. Mark Fishman. Amy Folkenroth. Caroline Ford. Carter Forshe. Tanner Forshe. Daniel Freeborn Hill. Aiden Gant. Sydney Gardner. Justin Gino. Abigail Gilman. Paige Gilstead. Grace Glacken. Alaya Gonzalez. Gabriel Granston. Elizabeth Green. Joseph Griffin. Dexter Gutensberger. Tori Guerrero. Jacqueline Hagen. Ty Hagen. Andrew Hales. Aiden Hall. Rose Hami, Jacob Harnois, Isha Hassan, Michael Henke, Brayden, Jenna Hogue, Andre Hofius. Shane Hogan, Pao Yen Hu, Cameron Hunley, Jack Hunkins, 
Cody Hunt, Victoria Hutter, Allie Jaster, Zhejing, Madeline Jodowin, Hunter Johnson, Joseph Johnson, Mary Jungle, Nathaniel Kalantar, Hannah Kempel, Bergen Kinjorski, Tessa Kent, Jared Keski, Sophia Khan, Drake Killinger, Megan Killmaster, Kevin Kim, Shelby King, Mallory Kisting, Samantha Klein, Reese Coleman, Brandon Kvasovic, Rebecca Kowalczyk, Amelie Kreif. Samuel Kwiatkowski Martin, Elijah Labarge, Ainsley Lacey, Garrett Lacosta, Allison Lapham, Bryson Larkowski. Jacqueline Lauren, Madeline Lutz, Caitlin Lewis, Mark Lewis the Third, Reese Lydorf, Kong Lee. Lynn, Gracie Lippard, Nicholas Lipset, Chelsea Long, Gabriel Looker, Oscar Lopez, Julian Maldonado, Sreya Mataraju, Jennifer Martinsky, Veronica Matthews, Luke Mavis, Carly May, Adeline McCarthy, Austin McCullough, Cameron McGee, Maureen Meadow, Dylan Meeleader, Annalise Mylink, Emma Meitler, Sarah Menzel, Ian Merrington, Paige Messick, Kaylee Metz, Devin Mogenberg, Isaac Molinar, Sila Moon, Maxwell Mori, Isaac Morrison, 
Caitlin Morse, Matthew Maury, Kane Myers, Amelia Milvaganum, Shreya Nagarkar. Adam Newton, Andrew Noah, Lucas Nogueira Pires, Brandon Norris, Kim Novak, John O'Connor. Stephen O'Donnell, Chinasa Okoro, Alejandro Palencia Villalba, Anna Parrish, John Parker, Gage Parsons. Rima Patel, Sophia Penix, Chase Perry, Lane Peters, Abigail Peterson, Sarah Pisarchik. Jordan Pleva, Grace Panasic, Megan Panasic, Davis Pertel, Karis Query, Tia Randall. Nicholas Randolph, Hannah Ra, Peter Redman, Maggie Reed, Alexander Reinig, Hannah Renaud, Brianna Rich, Logan Rivard, Grayson Rockefeller, Remington Roy, Taryn Rule, Cameron Ryan, Lauren Ranowski. Maxwell Sanchez, <laughs> Julia Sanderson, yeah, Julia! Deborah Sandow, <laughs> Lily Schuster, <laughs> Aria Segura, <laughs> Connor Sensabaugh. Isabella Serafin, Noah Shepard. Nicholas Siraki, Annalise Siglo Rude, Alex Sinclair, Brittany Sizemore. Alexandra Smith, Jordan Smith, Lewis Smith, Samuel Smith, Grace Sobek, Shiva Sriram, 
Kaylee Steiner, Brooke Stemler, Julia Stevenson, Maya Stevenson, Scott Stoles, Jacob Stone, Colin Stredney, Joshua Strike, Delaney Strauss, Samuel Strauss, Maisie Taylor, Jacob Telgenhoff, Annika Thorson, Mark Tipler, Summer Trejo, Anastasia Tucker, Charles Tucker, Helena Tucker, Vikram Vadamani, Isabel Velasquez, Elizabeth Wagoneer, Ruth Wager, Garrett Walden, William Wang, Jason Wagner, Chloe Welch, Heather Wellman, Catherine White, Rebecca White, Austin Whitmore, Grant Weiss, Gabrielle Wilkins, Adam Wallach, Lauren Woods, Isabel Yanez, and Carl Zorn. And now, fellow graduates, please join me and stand up. <laughs> now is the time where you and me and all of us move our tassels from right to left. Congratulations, class of 2019 graduates. Um, at this time, the chamber singers are now dismissed. Finally, I invite all Dow High alumni to please rise and sing the alma mater along with our fellow graduates.
seat. <laughs> Graduates of 2019, congratulations on your accomplishments and your hard work. Getting to where you are today was not an easy task, and I have no doubt that you have all faced obstacles and unique challenges along the way. As you move on to the next chapter of your life, remember to find something that you are passionate about and put it in your best effort. Remember the lessons you've learned at Dow High and all of the educational experiences that you've had. And most of all, remember to be the best person you can be, trying always to do what's right. Once again, I'd like to congratulate you all on your excellent work, and I would like to thank you all for attending this evening. As you leave, remember to thank everyone who helped you get to where you are today, whether it be your family, teachers, coaches, or even friends. Best of luck to your future, not that you'll need any luck, and please enjoy the rest of your evening safely. Thank you.